Hello everyone, this is Pastor Edmund Castro, and I'm the pastor of the Dutton Street Mission. Uh, and I'd just like to share one scripture and just a few very short thoughts for y'all today. Uh, and the scripture I'd like us to look is in Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 and 6. Uh, anyway, and it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Now today, mostly, I'd just like to talk about that word acknowledge. Uh, it says again, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. And then it says, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Now the word acknowledge means to recognize or to submit to. Uh, and that's just two meanings of it. Uh, so, and I got to thinking about how that, just think about this. Whenever you're driving in a car and you see a policeman, you know, up ahead while you're driving, uh, you slow down. In fact, sometimes you'll see a whole group of people following around, following behind the police car and other people all around the police car and the police is in the middle and everybody is driving the correct speed. Everybody is obeying the law, law you know, to the T. If it says speed limit 60, if you notice everyone's driving 60 or a little less than 60 because they see that police car, they see the police there. And so, you know, they're, they acknowledge that policeman and they are also submitting to the authority of that policeman. Uh, they know if they exceed the speed limit, they could get a ticket. So everybody recognizes that policeman, everybody acknowledges that he's there with them and they're all submitting to his authority. Now, I just got to thinking, I know, I know everyone at Dutton Street Mission has heard me say this before, uh, but I always say if we would only acknowledge and submit to God and recognize him the way we recognize and acknowledge the policeman while we're on the road driving, then we would we would be doing a lot better. Uh, so, you know, we're supposed to recognize the Lord in all of our ways. It's just like uh, if we recognize the Lord's authority and if we submit to the Lord's authority in our marriages, then a husband's going to be a good husband. A wife's going to try to be the best wife she can be. A worker at work, if we acknowledge him on our jobs, then we're going to be having a desire to do the best job that we can do because we acknowledge that the Lord is right beside us. Just like we are driving in a car and we see a policeman, he's right next to us and we obey the law because he's right next to us. Now, if we would only acknowledge God the way we acknowledge the policeman when we're driving, then we would live a whole lot better life. We'd be blessed more. Uh, and you know what? It's very true. We need to acknowledge God is right beside us because he always is. He's always walking beside us. He's always with us no matter where we might go. So again, we need to acknowledge him in all of our ways, in our marriages, in our church life. Uh, if we're going to school, uh, when we acknowledge that the Lord is right next to us, we're going to be a better student in school. Uh, when we acknowledge that the Lord is right next to us uh, while we're working at the job, on our jobs, then we're going to be a better worker. Uh, and I want you to know something, like that scripture says, when we acknowledge, acknowledge Him in all of our ways, then He will direct our paths. In other words, when we acknowledge Him again in our marriage, in our marriages, then we're going to be a better spouse. When we acknowledge Him in our relationships with our children, then we're going to be better parents.
when we acknowledge the Lord is with us on our jobs and when we submit to his authority, when we submit to him and recognize him, then we're going to uh, do a better job at work. We're, so whatever, wherever we're at, we need to acknowledge him. And even when we're driving, uh, when we acknowledge that he's with us, even when a policeman is not right next to us, they're gonna, we're going to be more of a godly driver as well. And we're going to be blessed as well. He's promised to direct our paths when we acknowledge him in whatever place that we are at or whatever situation we're in, help, he'll help us to do better in that situation. He'll direct us on how to be a better father, a better mother, a better worker, uh, you know, a better, uh, a better student, whatever it might be. So anyway, let's be sure to acknowledge him in all of our ways. And you know, uh, also in John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And you know, that word believe, it also means acknowledging Jesus Christ. So when we believe or acknowledge the Lord, that he is our Lord and Savior, when we believe on him, we will be saved. Uh, so let's be sure to acknowledge Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And when we do this, you know, when we ask him to come into our heart and lives, when we believe on him, and like the scripture says in Romans, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So when we call upon him and ask him to be our Lord and Savior, he'll save our souls. He'll come into our lives and forgive us for all our many sins. So praise the Lord. And if you haven't been saved today, just ask him in your own words, ask him to forgive you of all your sins, to come into your life and save your soul. And he will today. Well, anyway, that's my thoughts for today. Uh, I guess I will let you go for now. Uh, but anyway, y'all have a great, uh, y'all have a great Friday night. God bless each of y'all, each of y'all in a great and mighty way. We'll see you next time. Bye.